Sanvo Nani, and thank you for joining us on Joywork today, where we bring you the best that the city of Johannesburg has to offer you. Take a look at our C40 section for updates on climate change. Console Glass is one of the major players in the glass making industry, and we went to see the process of making world class glass. Enjoy. Console is in the glass manufacturing business. We are manufacturing uh, glass containers for various companies. The glass process, first of all, it goes through a crusher. And uh, from the crusher, it will go to screening machine, where we screen it off into different sizes. The smaller particles will not be color sorted. We use it as mix. And then the bigger particles will be color sorted into flint, which is your white glass, amber, brown, and then green. That will uh, be used in our virgin batch. When we screen it off, the waste is already removed. The waste is removed a bit earlier after the crusher, also by means of screening. After screening, it goes to our clarity machines for optical sorting. It's basically a camera system that will view the color of the glass and by means of an air purge, it will sort the color into different shoots to go to different bunkers. is robbing this is jobak today share your thoughts with us on social media by following us on twitter at joburg today and liking us on facebook joburg today tv hashtag joburg today also when you're on the go keep up with us on pocket tv .mobi, and that is pocket with an eye Glass recycling is one of the many important ways of ensuring a sustainable future. In Joburg tomorrow, we spoke to Shabir Jatam, who gave us more insight on this. Joining me now in studio is the CEO of the glass recycling company, Shabir Jatam. Welcome to Joburg tomorrow. Thank you very much for having me on your show. It's a pleasure. Now, from what I understand, you're busy driving campaigns forward, nationwide campaigns to increase the awareness on the importance of glass recycling and maybe even recycling in general. Yeah, now, for those of us who take recycling for granted, Perhaps if you can highlight to us why is it so important for the environment and what will happen to the environment if recycling does not in fact take place? Okay, recycling is crucial. I'll focus more on glass recycling, mm -hmm. which is our core business. Just to give you a brief background, we are a team committed towards the environment, towards promoting recycling in South Africa and re increasing glass recycling rates. Mm -hmm. The company it's a joint uh, initiative by various shareholders, including the two glass manufacturers and the majority of brand owners of glass packers, people that fill their glass into glass packaging. Okay. So we have a whole heap uh, of 22 shareholders. Mm -hmm. And our core function is about creating education. There's a lot of apathy about recycling in South Africa. Mm -hmm. We have created significant awareness over the past eight years since we've been in business. In addition to that, we create capacity out there. It's pointless enabling or asking people to recycle, recycle if you don't give them the relevant infrastructure to recycle. Mm -hmm. So this we achieve as a business by putting out glass banks. We have in excess of 2,800 banks nationally for people to drop off their glass. But an, another integral element is where we have set up entrepreneurs or buyback centers, mm. where you see people with their trolleys collecting glass, and they, they, we set up more than 2,000 entrepreneurs nationally, so we have created a national infrastructure. These people who collect the glass sell it then to these buyback centers or entrepreneurs that we have assisted, mm. who then on sell back to the glass manufacturers. In fact, there are more than 50,000 collectors that collect glass as a source of income. Mm -hmm. And Great. is that across the country? That's across the country, yes. They, the very important aspect is why should we recycle? If you don't recycle your glass, it ends up in landfill, it's of no value. But we look as waste, at waste glass as an industry, as a resource. Mm -hmm. Because glass, the first thing is, it's infinitely recyclable. 
So even if you recycle it 10 or 20 or 100 times, it doesn't affect the quality of the new glass produced. And that's very interesting to note. Where do you get your glass from? The glass is sourced from the public who drop off into glass bags. Mm -hmm. But the majority of the glass comes from the lower end market to collect it as a source of income. Mm. That eventually gets back to the glass manufacturers where it's sorted into its three different colors by automated processing plants, goes back into the furnace and is used to produce new glass. An important fact we need to take note of is that every new glass bottle or jar you buy has at least a 40% recycled content. Mm. In addition to other benefits with glass recycling, it reduces our carbon emissions, which are a huge issue. There's going to be the introduction of carbon taxes in South Africa. Praveen Gordon, our Minister of Finance, meant mm -hmm. to do it this year, but I understand he's going to do it in the 2015 tax year, mm -hmm. which will affect consumers at the end of the day. The more taxes we have to pay does affect everyone. Consumers are already hard pressed mm -hmm. in terms of uh, fuel prices going up, price mm -hmm. of food increasing exponentially. So all of this is important that as an industry we take cognizance of. Coupled with that, if you use recycled glass to manufacture mm -hmm. new glass, there's a significant energy saving as well. Mm -hmm. And as you know, we have a significant problem in South Africa with regard to electricity outages that we've been having of late. Mm -hmm. Do you think South Africans understand all of this? Is enough being done at uh, local government levels to drive this awareness forward in terms of how it will harm the environment in terms of the carbon emissions that comes out of this? Government is doing, a, is doing a lot. As industry, the glass recycling company, we work very closely with government at mm -hmm. national level. We have a memorandum of understanding with national government. Coupled with that, really, where it has to happen is at local government level. Mm -hmm. Local government, we interact with them very closely as well. The importance is what we do as a company and what other recycling companies do as well, we, we are creating more awareness. Yeah. As a glass recycling company, we have created significant awareness to all South Africans. And because of our efforts, we have increased the glass recycling rate in a period of seven years from 18 to more than 40%. So let me, let me ask you, sorry to interrupt you, but let me ask you this question. Do you think there are enough measures in place to support what you are doing in the recycling space? No, I believe there's significant more measures that have to be put in place. Yeah. And what we really need is separation at source. Mm -hmm. Separation at source in simple terms is where you leave your wheelie bin for your normal wet waste which can't be recycled. And then you have a separate plastic bag or container which is collected separately for recyclables. Mm -hmm. Now separation at source has been piloted in a lot of the major metro Met metros, yeah. we have been working closely with them, giving them the expertise mm -hmm. and supporting them as well. But separation at source needs to be legislated. Mm -hmm. Coupled with that, uh, we are a strong believer as a business in forming public-private partnerships, working together with government, but it has to be a joint initiative. Mm -hmm. And people, we are running significant campaigns to get people more aware of glass recycling. But once there's legislation in place and separation at source becomes mandatory in South Africa, we will see a significant growth in volumes that are recycled, not only for glass, but all other recyclables as well. So let's define separation at source. So everybody is on the same page and understand exactly what you mean by separation of source. When you're saying it has to be legislated and made mandatory, you're referring to South Africans that will have to separate their waste at source, at home. But this requires all, all kinds of support, infrastructure support as well. It's quite simple. What the metropolitan, uh, for argument's sake, for Itequini municipality, which is the city of Durban, mm. we have engaged in a joint initiative with them and they service more than 1.2 million households where they collect all the recyclables, including glass. They give a two bag system mm -hmm. where the recyclables go into another bag and it works very well. So mm -hmm. The city of Johannesburg is doing that and I understand they will be spreading out that project, uh, rolling the project out towards the entire city of Johannesburg. Cape mm -hmm. Town also has some very good initiatives in place. But there are also smaller municipalities that need to get involved. Mm -hmm. And it is significant and very important that we get the separation at source projects up and running. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. My name is Coco, you're watching Joe Berg Today. 
and that brings us to the end of today's show but don't forget to check out the special focus section for more city coverage stay on top of the latest issues with cap talk and look forward to your future in the city of johannesburg with joburg tomorrow that is it from me i love and i leave you with down south by jeremy loops till next time back in etv Hey guys, welcome back to Balcony TV Johannesburg and we've got a really special guest. I've been trying since we started Balcony TV to get this young man on, but he's always in Cape Town or when he does come to Johannesburg, he hasn't got any time for me. How are you doing? It's Jeremy Loops. How are you doing, Jeremy? I'm really well, thanks. Sorry we're, about that. Don't take offense. <laughs> I'm not taking offense, but we're really excited. I mean, I got up at like 8 o'clock this morning just to get ready for this. I know, I was gigging until 2 in the morning and I'm feeling pretty tired myself, but I'm stoked to be here. Well, we've been telling everybody around the world that we're going to get you on, so we're really excited. What song are you going to play for us today? Um, it's a song of my upcoming album. It's called Down South. This is Jeremy Loops on Balcony TV Johannesburg with Down South. Take it away. When I see you
night or day I didn't know this And everything she wore Cause I didn't show this And in the night or day I didn't show you But I wanted you to stay And I didn't wanna go I didn't take it away from you No, no, I didn't want you to be down south I'm just sitting and I will call you a little bit of love, I never want you It's good to see you, Josie, how you doing? I never want you to be down south I'm a sin and I will call you Squeeze you a little bit of love, I never want you Anyway